I am an MS warrior. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I receive it and I believe it. Amen. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, I wholeheartedly welcome you to Eat to Live Strong. Today is Wednesday, January 26, 2022. And this is day 24 of Multiple Sclerosis, my daily diary. It's uncut and raw footage. You get to see me as I am. Um, whatever I say, it stays. I do not edit the videos. You can see the differences in my life day to day, whether it's something I said that didn't make sense or something that I jumbled up or I forgot a date, I forgot a name or title, whatever it is, it is. So you get to see me in the raw or my battle with multiple sclerosis. So let's get started. Before I start into this, I want to say rest in peace Rest in peace to my sister, P the Keto Girl. She passed away. I got the news last evening, and she was a sweetheart. She shared her love with everybody. Anytime I would go into a live stream and she was in there, if she was a mod, she was dropping my link. She was always very, very sweet. A sweetheart she was. So rest in peace, sister. You guys pray for her family. Um... Just pray. Praying is, praying means everything. Praying speaks volume. So, um, I will start off by saying last, yesterday, uh, I didn't take a nap. Or did I take a nap? I don't remember taking a nap. I don't think I took a nap. I went to the store, um, uh, to buy things for breakfast food, such as the just egg, um, in a little bottle that doesn't last that long in the house because that's what we all eat for breakfast and I had to get more spinach and mushrooms and something else I had to get tomatoes um, my tomatoes are not doing too well right now because it's cold outside so we have to buy it in the store I normally try to can tomatoes but that's not gonna be good for breakfast you know a slice of tomato is good but if I do anything, I would make salsa, and I didn't get to do it last year. Um, so I will make salsa this year, and I will use that to put over the eggs and things like that. But So I went to the store yesterday. I did not get a nap. Um, I did follow the techniques, and let me just start off. See, I forgot just that quick. Let me just tell you a little something, something. Um, so again, I did follow the techniques that I said I was going to do. But I cheated. I'm not going to lie. I cheated. And so with that being said, I went to bed. My alarm clock went off at midnight telling me to go to bed. So I wrapped up everything with the bird, um, water, feeding, and making sure it was warm in her room. And then I turned off the lights to go upstairs. But then I realized I needed to wash dishes so we could have breakfast in the morning today. And um, so I washed dishes and then I got a phone call from one of my sisters, my friend, and we spoke for mm, about an hour to an hour and a half. And then my phone started to go dead and I was like, oh, okay, the phone's going dead. So guess what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to put it on the charger because then that way I don't even have to worry about it waking me up in the middle of the night. But we did find a location for our phone. So we put them all in the, in this container thingy and it doesn't wake us up because it's, you know, not brightening the room from the, um, whatever it's called. When you get a notification, it lights up the whole room. So we're not getting that because we put it in a container that's covered. It's not, you can't see through it. But the alarm will still go off when it's time for us to get up in the morning. So I did finally get up to bed after I talked to her. I guess it was about 2 o'clock-ish a.m., and of course, because I didn't have any um, life on the phone and the clocks were all turned around. So it was completely, it's always dark in the house because we never turn lights on at night. Um, the TV is the only light that we have. So the lights were off. Everybody was already asleep except for me. Cuckoo. So I go upstairs. Everything's turned off. I get into bed and guess what? I couldn't sleep. So I'm like tossing and turning and fidgeting and... 
I was told in one of the sessions that I went to for sleep study, they said, if you cannot sleep, don't force yourself to sleep because you will have broken sleep and that's what ends up happening. So what did I do? I turned on the TV and I watched the episode of Judge Judy and I pre-record everything because I'm not the type of person that will sit there and watch a movie without getting up, moving around. My attention span since I've been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis is like this. So I don't sit and watch movies um, or watch TV. So I watch it in sections. It'll take me a long time to watch a movie. So anyway, I watched TV and I think I drifted off probably about, uh, I think it was like 3.08 or something like that because I remember um, the TV looking at it and I fell asleep with the TV on. Um, I woke up and it's now 6. 6.58 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, not too shabby. Um, but just to wrap it all up, just to let you know, anytime this has happened to me in the past with regards to sleeping, it hit me, but it didn't hit me as hard as it did this time. So I don't know if maybe my age is kicking in or it's just enough is enough. I don't know what happened, but um, this time it really scared me. Because in the past, if I if I run out of fuel, my body just shuts down and say, lay your tail down and go to sleep. And then I would sleep for, you know, five, six hours and I'm up and I'm good. This time, mm -mm. my body is so confused. So I am trying all the different techniques that I've learned over my sleep studies. And like I said, this time it really scared me. I was nauseous. My head was hurting. I was nervous. I was everything, everything that could happen just scared me. If something, if a feather hit the floor, I'm jumping and things like that so it never happened to me like that before in the past now i'm a light sleeper so if i hear a crack or if i hear a limb fall or somebody starting their car up to go to work or if a dog barks or anything a cat because we get a lot of cats out here i don't know why but they all in and they love my backyard i don't even have cats <laughs> so they would all i would hear the noise and i would wake up so I'm going to say safely, um, sleeping is very important. Um, all the years that they said, as long as you can maintain or, or, or function with no problems, you should be okay. But this time it was a problem. So get your rest or get you some help as soon as you can because it's no joke. Um, today I'm feeling okay. I'm going to go to physical therapy. It'll be about an hour. Uh, I am feeling some tension in my neck, so if I move back, it's okay, but if I move forward, it pinches in my neck. So hopefully they will take care of that, or I'm off to the chiropractor, because um, I don't know if it's MS-related or if it's just that I need to be adjusted. I don't know. So guys, um, make sure you take heed to your conditions, your symptoms. Make sure you write them down. Put them in your smartphone. Call your doctor. Don't let it go for too long because I'm going to say this in each and every one of my videos. Early detection is key. Um, key to what? Key to knowing what's wrong and key to a better way of you getting yourself healed. No matter what it is. So um, get your rest. Get your sleep. My grandfather was one that got all of his rest. He napped. He took his rest, his sleep, and and he lived a long time. He would have lived longer if it wasn't for the C. I hate cancer. Cancer sucks. MS sucks. All incurable diseases suck, suck, suck. It's horrible. So, guys, thank you for joining me today. Please take heed to your condition. Love yourself to health. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you can be notified of all of my videos when they're uploaded. I want to thank you again for joining me today. I will see you on tomorrow, day 25 of Multiple Sclerosis, my daily diary. So, I love you long time. i see you next time. Bye. I have MS, but MS don't have me. I walk the walk, and I am blessed. I walk the walk and I am blessed. Bye, guys.